Okay, so in this video, we're going to move from a string that's fixed at both sides, and we're going to analyze, well, we're going to take some data for a pipe that is closed at one end. So what I have here is I have a glass tube, and it is open at both ends, and so right now I've got a pipe This I can't really get the, uh, I can make it ring a little bit if I really worried about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a pipe that is closed at one end. And the way that I'm going to make it closed at one end is I'm going to stick it into my graduated cylinder that's got water in it. And since right now the pipe is open at both ends, what's going to happen is the water, as I push it down, the water is going to make a tube of variable length that is closed at the bottom and open at the top. And what I have here is I have some tuning forks. And so if I take this tuning fork and put it over the top, nothing really happens. But I can set this up so that I can find a place where it resonates. And now, I really don't know how well this is going to uh, record onto YouTube, but I'll do my best. Right there, if I go Right in there, I bet you you can't hear it on the, I bet you you can't hear it on that microphone. But, right in here, right about there I get a resonance, and I measure it to be, well, that's not the one I was going to do, I was going to do 320 hertz here, so, At 320 hertz, I get a resonance when this is at about, when the water level is at about 25.5 centimeters. So I get a resonance when the water is at about 25.5 centimeters. And then the other one that I chose, I forget which one I chose. I think I did this one. Four, I think I did maybe 480B, maybe. No, I must have done the A. I did this uh, 426.6. Oh, that was a good one. You can probably hear that. So I get a resonance right around, well that was right around 19 centimeters, say. This is, better. This is why you need a lab partner. Uh, I'm going to call it 20 centimeters. Let me flip it around so I can see it this way. I'm going to call it 19 centimeters. So, 426.6 hertz and 19 centimeters. Okay, now, what I have here, this is uh, super ultra annoying. Uh, I highly recommend that if you are in somebody else's physics class, that you annoy the teacher with this. Uh, please, if you're in my physics class, do not annoy me with this. I have a tube that is both open at both ends and is 10.5 centimeters long. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my thumb over the bottom and I'm going to blow into it. And right there I'm going to get the fundamental. Now the thing is we want to look at harmonic series of a tube that's, that's close at one end. And so there we found the fundamental. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the harmonics on this one by blowing harder. So I'm going to go, then I'm going to blow harder. And maybe if I blow really hard, I can sort of hear that third harmonic, but it's really hard to get. So basically fundamental, and then first overtone. And so we're going to go back.